student ambassador. Today I'm in RIT City Space. It's in downtown Rochester. There is an excellent exhibition today. Let's see it. Those stories. Today, David Butu exhibited his photography at RIT City Art Space. All these images from his new book, Brink. It is a five-year body of work he created starting with the 2016 Camping Cycle. This exhibition was curated by RIT assistant professor Jim Pochi. How long you uh, prepare for this exhibition? Yes. How you organize all the uh, images to use this space to show the different stories? Yes, we began, um, we began working on the exhibition in May. We had our first conversation with John Osp and we were um, deciding if there would be space um, in the schedule, which had been really complicated because of COVID and uh -huh. because so many of the campus galleries had become classroom space, it meant that the schedule was backed up. So we had, we found a time uh -huh. and we did it all through sort of Zoom. It was in DC at that point, but we found, we picked some dates and then we, we spent really the next five, six months deciding um, how we would use the space because it's not a square or a yeah. rectangle. We have all of these movable walls, and then we have these giant windows. And so, uh, once David got back to LA, we were able to um, we were able to work via Zoom. I had the floor plan. Uh -huh. um, I would take him around the space for different openings, so he could see the way the room was used. And then I made an InDesign file, uh, and that and and I just started dropping pictures in and really thinking about the structure of the book and how it related. I want to know how you choose the photos to your uh, book and how you organize all of them. It's it's a it's a it's a big task choosing the photographs for the book and the exhibit. Uh, I think I started out with about 700 pictures that I liked. Uh -huh. So getting it down to just uh, about 100 pictures wow. of the book. Well, I enlisted the help of uh, Jen Koji, who's a, a professor at RIT, and Jen and I used to work together. She's a, uh, a, a photo editor at US News World Report magazine um, in the 2000s. And so we collaborated on a lot of stories uh, then and so when this project came up and I wanted to do a book I sent her a lot of these photos and she helped me edit it down and then we also got um, another one of our colleagues from these days to sort of uh, weigh in and so it's a process that took several months and we did it over Zoom basically sometimes two of us sometimes the three of us you know to kind of shape what we thought was the most important and the same for the show which is just like a smaller scale of